Hey guys, Chase with IDUB Hockey here. Today we're going to be checking out the new Warrior Alpha QX5 hockey stick. So we have new shaft dimensions. They call them their ergo shape, which are rounded corners, double concave sidewalls. Really lets you roll the wrists out there. We're going to see the same construction that we find in the top line QX. It's going to be what they call their True One Phantom construction. Uh, just makes it very seamless uh, and it is also extremely consistent and gives you much more responsiveness as you're taking your shots out there. For the materials, we're going to see a minimalist carbon fiber combined with a fiberglass. Uh, these are going to combine to give you a lot of durability and still some real good playability even at this opening price point. Now into the kick point, we're going to see a low kick point utilizing uh, their new taper. Now uh, this is going to be higher than what we find in the QRL line, but the new Sabre taper is going to have a very similar design. Just looks a little bit beefier than what you do find on that dagger taper for the QRL series. And this was strategically done to give you better stability, uh, more torsional stability for the bottom uh, portion of the shaft. So when you're stick handling, when you're taking those shots, it gives you a little bit more control. And then since it is a little bit more beefier, it is going to push that kick point up higher. Like I said, still low kick, but geared a little bit more towards those power shooters. We have a soft core X foam package with their uh, single stringer that runs heel to toe. Both these combine to give you a nice lively puck feel. It's going to allow you to get some good pop off of it for those quick uh, snapshots and slap shots. And then that stringer is going to be in there to make sure that you have good stability. So when you're taking those shots, it's going to prevent it from opening up. And then for the weight, it's going to weigh right around 495 grams. Excellent to see at this opening price point. Has a nice lightweight feel considering it is right around 500 grams, but still, uh, you know, definitely going to be lighter than what you'll find in the majority of the competition. Other thing I like about it is that you are getting the same construction process and you're getting that new kick point that's going to give you a really nice quick release, but a little more shot power than what you find on the QRL line. But if you're looking for more information, click the Shop Now button, give us a thumbs up on the video, and make sure you're subscribed to the number one hockey gear review channel on YouTube. Catch you guys next time.